Hey guys, welcome back. Today I am updating my project pans from 2019. So I've got my original project pan that I started at the very beginning. And then I did kind of a rolling project pan throughout the year, but then I also added in some mini project pans. So we're going over all of that. I am so excited. I'm ready to get all of this stuff out of my home. I've been saving it so I could show you guys and we're just going to get right into this. So when I started out the project pan, I started with nine. I, I think I actually started with 10 items. Um, I got to get my notes out here. For most of them, I wrote down when I used them up. So the first thing I've got is, is the Scandinavia Bridal Setting Spray. And I don't know where this was when I started it because it's obviously an opaque bottle. Um, I think it was at least half full. I finished it up in June. One done. And the uh, Fit Me, I, by the way, I love that setting spray. And I, do I have another one? I feel like I repurchased it. Maybe I just did the Urban Decay one because they are the same. Um, then I got the, have the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. I finished this one up. And where was it when I started? It looks like it was here when I, maybe it was here when I started. And that was one of the points where I updated. And I finished that in June would not repurchase that. I had the Laura Geller Spackle. It was right here when I started. It, the Sharpie has kind of worn off some. I finished this just last month. If I did not have as many primers as I have in my backup, I would definitely repurchase this. One of my favorite primers I have ever used. I had the Urban Decay Zero Gel Liner. I finished this up in November. And this is the only one that I used for my tight line until I finished it up. And I used it just about all year. So that kind of shows you that like one black gel liner is all you would need for your tight line if that's what you want to use in it. So why do I have so many? By the June video, I had also used up an ABH Brow Wiz. I wouldn't necessarily feel the need to repurchase this, but I didn't not like the product. It just wasn't like the best brow product I ever used. We had the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. This is like almost used up. You can see there's just a little tiny bit around the corners. My daughter really likes playing with it, so I left a little bit in it so that she could still play with it used it up in a year. I don't think you could see pan when I first started this at the beginning of the year. So I, I feel like I made a major accomplishment with that one. Then next we had a couple other powder products. The first one is the butter blush. The goal on this was to hit pan and I did hit pan on this. Did I write down? I hit pan in the June video. So since June, you can see the June video was this black mark and then there's a purple Sharpie marker around there. I don't know if you can see it. And that was probably the November video. And then the rest is what I've used up since then. I've also used other blushes throughout the year, but if you only wanted to get one blush, I think you could survive on one blush for a year. Uh, this was a goal to get rid of this one. I did not. This has been in my project pan for two years now. And I just, I don't know what's going on. I do feel like I use this, I guess not enough to use it up. I don't use it to set my makeup. I use it to refresh throughout the day when I have something going on at night that I need to refresh for. So I guess maybe I don't go, go places that often at night is, is what we're talking about here. But I'm gonna continue to try to use this up. I really like this product and I don't want it to go bad and that's why it continues to stay in my project pan. And the last one for my original product pan which I finally hit pan on. I did not think it was going to happen in 2019, but December I diligently used my Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter in Molten Gold, and I finally hit pan on it. <laughs> it is the tiniest little speck of pan, but I did it. So you can hit pan on a highlighter. Obviously you don't need more than one highlighter in a year. And for me, before I get into the mini project pans and the things that I kind of replaced with other things during this project pan, I wanna talk a little bit about what I've learned. So for me, the main reason that I did the project pan was either to use up a product before it went bad or to see how much of a product you really need in a year. For the most part, I think I accomplished that. The Laura Geller Spackle and the Scandinavia Setting Spray were two products that I have had for 
a couple of years now and they are gone and they did not go to waste. For the Urban Decay liner, the highlighter and the blush, I think that you can tell from what I've done in a year that you really don't need more than one of those products in a year. Maybe the gel liner, but it's very eye-opening to see how minimal amount of makeup you actually need for an entire year and how much makeup I own. Like this year has been so revealing to me in terms of my low buy, my project pans, my shop, my stashes, just in really looking at what I have, what I need, what I own, what I still want slash need in my collection. And I think this next year is going to be reflective of that. When it comes to my videos, things that I'm purchasing, my will I buy it series, I think you're going to see a reflection of what I learned this past year. And I think it's really cool and I'm really glad I did it. So now let's get into the rest of the project pan. I'll talk a little bit more about that. I'm going to be doing a December haul slash low buy update video where I talk a little bit more about what I've learned from this past year, but let's get into the rest of these products. A couple things that I replaced in my project pan. I had the Cover FX Blurring Primer. I still haven't used this, but it's really getting down to where I have to like, you know, when you're at the end of the toothpaste and you have to like press that side down. That's where this is getting to. It is almost gone. So glad. Today, I finally finished the Tarte Ready Set Radiant Skin Mist. Would not repurchase this again. I do already have a backup of my Cover FX Blurring Primer. I got that when it was in a BoxyCharm pop-up sale because I liked it so much. Wish I hadn't have done that now because you can see how long it takes to go through a primer and I've got a ton more, but it's in my collection. Uh, used up the Smashbox Photo Finish Centering Citrus Primer Water. I think that was in a mini project pan. This, <laughs> this product is so funny. It had been in my project pan for a long time. I think it replaced, maybe June, maybe it replaced one of my first, it might have replaced one of my first products that I used up. And I was using this forever and I ended up using a brush to like scrape out the bottom. And then I realized that the bottom actually had popped out so it kept on pushing down eventually i did use it all up but that was the collab concealer love this i would definitely repurchase this once i've gone through some other ones in my nine by the fall i had my ulta matte eye shadow primer and i used that up finally and i think you could probably settle for one eyeshadow primer a year as well and i use a lot of eyeshadow primer I used up my ColourPop No Filter Concealer. This one I use for cut crease. I've had this for two years now and I've only ever used it for cut crease. I have finally used it all up and I even took out the cap so I could scrape out the rest of it because you know I don't like to waste any products. Also I used up my Ulta Full Coverage Liquid Concealer and I also really like this one. I do have a backup of this and I have take it out the cap so I could scrape out the rest of that as well. I used up a Makeup Revolution, the full coverage foundation. I could not find that bottle anywhere and I would not repurchase that. I felt like it was a little too thick and cakey, but I did use that one up. I finally, you guys, used up the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Plus Cream. I would definitely not repurchase this. It moves around way too much on my face and it has been in my project pan for two years now and that's how long it took me to want to use that because I've gone through a couple of other foundations this year and I just haven't wanted to pick this up. It'll be interesting to see when we do the all the empties how many foundations I've gone through this year. The Smashbox Primerizer was in my mini fall project pan and I finished that up. already have a backup of this. One of my favorite primers ever. Love it. It very much reminds me of the Laura Geller Spackle. I had this sheer cover powder in my pro in my fall project pan and how pretty is that empty bottle? <laughs> I'm so excited that I used that up and I do like that powder for a quick on the go kind of day where that's all I'm putting on. I used up the NYX matte finish setting spray and I also like this one. This one was in my mini project pan. Also in the mini project pan is the Billion Dollar Brows. I really do like this brow brow product. I feel like it's between a brow pencil and a pomade-ish kind of brow product. And I would probably repurchase that if I didn't have a stock of brow products. It'll be interesting to see, like I would just, 
I would love for my makeup collection to go down a little. And that probably sounds crazy. Like, like, I mean, I would love a full room of makeup products, but I also don't have room for that. So if I could just decrease and get a little more organized with my makeup collection, I would like that as well. Uh, I used up this Smashbox Camera Ready BB Eye Cream Eyes. I would not repurchase this. I liked it okay for using it on the face. I wouldn't use it under the eyes. I think that it's a little too heavy for under the eyes, but it, I liked it for on the face and it's got this neat little like brush applicator. So it makes it really easy to apply to your face. Probably too expensive for a face concealer though, if I remember correctly, especially because that collab one is like my favorite and it's a lot cheaper. I also used up a L'Oreal Magic Lumi primer. I don't know what happened to it. <laughs> I don't still have the container. I used that one up though. Don't know that I would really repurchase it. Wasn't a bad product, just not, just didn't like super stand out to me. Now, I have a few products that I did not use up, but I did really good this year when I look at what, I'm looking at the floor because I tossed everything on the floor as I was sharing it with you. When I look at everything that I actually panned that I wanted to pan, like pretty proud of myself. <laughs> okay, there are a couple things that I did not use up. The first one I've got here is this Ulta Lip Butter and this one is an enticing, but look how close I came. That's pretty darn good. And I'm sure that's going to go pretty soon. It's one of my favorite lip colors. So I don't anticipate having it in my collection for too much longer. I also did not use up the Bravo Conditioning Primer. I don't know how much is left in this. I really do use it almost every day. So I think this is a product that lasts a while. You don't use very much in your brows. But it'll be interesting to see when I do finally finish that up. And it should be in an empties coming up soon. And the Urban Decay Velvetizer I also did not use up. So today... Um, I took out the little sifter thing. Let me take it out for you guys so you can see how much is left in there. <clears throat> so by weight, this product does not appear that it has that much powder in it, but there is still quite a bit left in here. And when I think about how much I actually need to use to set my face, it must weigh less because it is so finely milled. Um, I feel like I'm going to have that around a while. And I've been using this one... I put this in my nine in the fall and I filmed that in September. So I've been using it every day since September, but it also was already a product that I had used a lot in the past. So there must be a lot in this. I would definitely repurchase this. It's one of my favorite setting powders, but it also lasts a long time. So overall, I used up everything or panned everything from my original project pan from my 9 in 19, out of my 19 products I had in there, I used up all but three. I also am going to have all of my makeup empties that I used for the year. And there is going to be a video coming on all of the empties that I used in an entire year. And I can't wait to get that one done so I can pitch all of that stuff. But doing a lot of organizing lately and having like empty bottles laying around is kind of driving me nuts. And then I also used up a lot of products that I had in my rolling project pan throughout the year. So I feel the need to give myself a pat on the back. <laughs> I would love to know how you guys did if you were doing any project panning this year or if maybe I've inspired you to do a little in 2020 to see what your makeup habits are. So let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on all this project panning. Thank you so much for joining me for this video. I hope you guys have an amazing day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.